Hi, I'm Shivi. So today we are going to discuss about silk. There is a very interesting story behind the invention of silk. And today I will also tell you some interesting facts about silk. So let's go. So over thousands of years ago in a very land of China there was a king Shiling. He also had a daughter named Laizu. She was as beautiful as she was artful. One day when she was practicing her archery she took a tea break. She sat under a mulberry tree and her maid served a cup of tea in front of her. The moment she lifted that cup of tea to her lips a white object dropped into her cup of tea. She was startled. She picked that object and started unraveling it. That object unraveled into a long thread. As she was so artful, she weaved it and made a piece of cloth. That piece of cloth was incredibly soft. She was so impressed by that object. She decided to do a whole study about that pro uh, object. and. She found that that object is nothing but a silkworm wrapped into its own cocoon and then she spread sericulture among the people of China and this is how silk clothing born and it is said that in the very early age of the global trade uh, China rose to its prominence because of the silk. Even today, China produces 80% of silk worldwide. Interesting, isn't it? So, it's time to the fact. Let's, let's go. So, let's talk about fact. A silk rope is stronger than an equally thick metal wire. Second, to produce 1 kg of silk, 104 kg of mulberry leaves must be eaten by 3000 of silkworm. And a single silkworm can produce up to 15 meter of uh, filament in a minute. And silk is a fire retardant, so when it burns, it will curl away and extinguish itself. And the last one is, we need around 5000 of silkworm to produce a pure silk kimono. And what is kimono? So kimono is a traditional dress in China. You can, for now, you can see the images. And uh, yeah, that's it. And if you like this video, stay tuned. I'll be back with my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.